Hi, my name is Dwayne. I am the D in Catalo, and I only have one A with me here, A2. Say hi. Hi. A1 hurt her ankle and is out for the count, but we want to bring you... Catalo Daily in under five minutes. The biblical stories with the facts back in that the flannel graph has missed. And the show is starting now. Season 2, Episode 8. Yesterday, we looked at the complete trial of Paul in front of Felix, the governor there at Caesarea. And so they heard the testimony of Tertullus, which was pretty clear that it doesn't have anybody really back in it. They had no witnesses to anything Paul had done wrong. Paul gives his testimony and states that fact, but does say he, is, he has been arrested because he believes in the resurrection, and specifically the resurrection of Jesus Christ, because that is the understanding of the way, as the uh, Jews called the belief in Jesus as the Messiah. Felix has to decide what to do. We left off yesterday looking at the fact that he basically pauses everything and says, I'll wait until Claudius gets here. Now, if you have your Bibles, we're only going to look at a small passage, which is Acts 24, 22 through 27. And the first few verses we looked at yesterday, uh, the fact that Felix had a working knowledge of the way. In fact, again, his wife Drusilla, his second wife, was King Herod's daughter. Yes, that King Herod from the time of the New Testament. So she, they had an understanding of this belief of Jesus as the Messiah. And we see during this pause time that Felix allows Paul to have guests to come and minister to him, and there, no one has prevent that to happen. So he allows that open door... But a few days later, Felix has Paul brought up so he and Drusilla, his wife, could talk to Paul and to hear what he has to say. But it's actually really interesting how the discussion goes because Paul begins to tell Felix about the gospel. And we know that because it says in verse 24, But some days later, Felix arrived with Drusilla, his wife, who was a Jewess, and sent for Paul and heard him speak about faith in Christ Jesus. So Paul begins to tell of the gospel. And the idea of the word faith there is like all-encompassing faith. That's where the, the phrasing comes from. When he gets, though, to the part of the gospel presentation, in verse number 25, it says, As he begins discussing righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix gets, well, the Bible says here, frightened. The word is actually trembling like shaking, A2, and so he's like, it brings a great fear upon him. So much so that he tells Paul, look, you can go away now and I'll summon for you again sometime. I want to finish this out and come back to it for just a second. The rest of the, the narrative of this passage here in the last couple of verses is that Paul is going to spend two years in this jail or in this prison waiting on the verdict to come through from Felix. It's not going to come. He's not going to send for Claudius. That never takes place. We just see Paul waiting. And the reason is Felix was hoping, as we saw in his past, he liked to receive bribes and kind of work the system and get gain. He was hoping that Paul would pay him off. And that didn't ever happen. But he kept that communication line open, and he would continue to, from time to time, ask Paul to come, and they would talk. But there's no money coming out of Paul. And so in the end, well, since Felix is so big about playing all sides, he doesn't want to leave his governorship, making the Jews angry at him. And so he just leaves Paul there for the next guy to deal with. What Felix is doing right here, we've actually seen that in the scripture before. There's somebody else who had a similar situation where they had to make a judgment call and they saw the person as guilty, that it was a religious situation um, that was the problem, but they had to make a decision based on it. And they decided to side with the people who were making the false accusations because of, well, their power. And that's Pilate. Really, it is a similar situation. Uh, Pilate didn't want to upset the Jews, and so he washed his hands of Jesus. But at least Pilate acknowledged that he didn't believe that Jesus was guilty. Felix is just going to push it off and lay it on somebody else and make them deal with it. Well, there's just no way we're going to finish this today, is it? So let's just continue this tomorrow, shall we? Come back, we'll finish up.